Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi there, I'm Joletta, and I'm so glad you've joined me for today's scripture reading. Today we're looking at Matthew 12, verses 9 to 14. Jesus went on from there and entered the synagogue. And a man was there with a withered hand. And they asked him, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath, so that they might accuse him? He said to them, Which one of you who has a sheep, if it falls into a pit on the Sabbath, will not take hold of it and lift it out? Of how much more value is a man than a sheep? So it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. Then he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. And the man stretched it out, and it was restored, healthy like the other. But the Pharisees went out and conspired against him, how to destroy him. This passage begins with the Pharisees questioning Jesus about the Sabbath. Now, the Pharisees had their own interpretations about the command to keep the Sabbath day holy. Their misguided interpretations resulted in many man-made laws about what activity was allowed on the Sabbath. And they believed that healing should not take place, although they would make exceptions for someone really near death who would most likely not live another day. But the man with the withered hand in this story wasn't really an emergency situation. So for the Pharisees, healing could wait until the Sabbath had passed. But Jesus viewed this situation differently. Since Jesus is God in the flesh, he knew exactly how to keep the Sabbath day holy. And he knows the value of human life, which he ultimately demonstrated by dying on the cross for our sins. Jesus sets the example here that any time is the perfect time to show love and compassion towards someone who needs it. And then in our text, after calling out the Pharisee's error, Jesus turns to the crippled man and asks him to straighten out his hand. And what I love about Jesus's healing tactic here is that he asks the man to do something he obviously cannot do. He cannot straighten out his hand. That's why he needs Jesus to heal him. But as an act of faith, this man tries anyway. And as he tries to straighten out his hand, how amazed he must have been to discover that he has a full functioning hand. Jesus completely healed him, making both his hands equally healthy and strong. Jesus valued this man when no one else did, and it didn't matter what day it was. My prayer for us today has two parts. One, that we would follow the example of Jesus by showing love and compassion to those who need it. And two, that we would never be afraid to take steps that seem impossible for us, because that's exactly when we just might find healing.